Hey everyone, this is Captain Horp, and welcome to uh, Captain Horp Plays Resident Rise 3, Episode 4. Um, so I did some mining. Where's the ore? So I reset, I set this up. Basically, we had a hell of a time with creepers and stuff up here. You can see I got the eucalyptus love door. Um, you'll see when I get out there, it was a mess. So what I did was I m just decided to move everything down here. So we got the sterling generator here, sag mill, alloys, uh, dust going here, bars going here. Pretty straightforward. A little less fancy than it was, but um, I was having issues with that system. Uh, some things it would double smelt, I wouldn't want it to. Anyway, um, these chests are not really sorted yet. I'm getting close to building a sorting system, but I need to build a house first. So uh, the house building might happen this episode, it might happen next. Uh, first thing I want to do, though, is I need to chop some wood. If I want to build a house, I need wood. Um, so... Or I could do it out of stone, but either way, uh, I'm going to need wood, because I'm out of wood. So if I remember right, I made a dark iron axe, but I can't for the life of me remember where I stuck that thing. Ah, oh, there it is. Great, so you'll notice that it has no charge, and I actually tried to use its special ability, and it doesn't work. So, I'm having a weird visual glitch here. I don't know what's up with this, but the bubbles are covering over my hunger, and it's pretty annoying, actually. I don't know what's causing that, but uh, hopefully I'll get it figured out. Uh, anyway, uh, what I want to do now is, I'm going to make, yeah, you can see I was already looking at the recipe. I want to make a leadstone energy cell so that I can actually charge this axe. None of these Ender I.O. machines will let me do that that I have yet. So to do that, it's pretty straightforward. I need redstone, lead, glass. So i got lead in here, right? Yeah. That's lead. Uh, these chests are completely disorganized, so forgive me. You're going to see me shuffling around a lot. I've gotten most of the stuff from the old base. I still have to go rip up the, sm the smeltery. Uh, I might actually use the smeltery this episode. I haven't quite decided yet. Right. Last thing I need is redstone. Where's the redstone? There we go. Um, so, redstone block, and then lead and glass, and that'll get us the leadstone energy cell frame. And then uh, we want to upgrade that. We basically want to turn in a leadstone energy cell. We're going to need three pieces of copper, and then we're going to need this coil, which requires electrum. Um, we have Electrum. Yeah, I'm going to have to dust up one gold. And I think we have silver dust already. I got a lot of flint when I was out mining too, so... Or a lot of gravel, which I sagged up in the flint. So, uh, let's go ahead and take the gold and the silver, and we'll get Electrum out of that. So, silver plus gold plus Electrum. Uh, we'll cook the Electrum. And then, basically, the, the cooked Electrum... Cook the electrum goes here with the redstone here and here, and then the only other thing we needed was copper. Got enough of that. Let's make the leadstone energy cell. Excellent. So what I want to do now is, um, where's my crescent hammer? Yeah, I want to pull this guy. I want to put the energy cell right here. Um, we're gonna set the left side and the right side to. I believe that's output power. I haven't used an energy cell in a while, to be honest, so we're going to find out. Alright, it's getting power from the top, that's blue, and I believe it should be outputting power to... Well, these are full, so let's start using one. Um, let's just throw some of this in here. Looks like it's uh, charging it up, so perfect. Alright, cool, so this will give us a little bit more of a buffer for our machine. It's another 400,000. Each of these holds 100,000. This will hold another 400,000. Um, more important... Oh, you know what's weird? I, I thought... I thought you used to be able to charge things with the energy cell, but I guess not. I may have to make an uh, energetic infuser. Uh, so... Let's look at the recipe for that hold off on this, but I might not get the chance to. Alright, so it's kind of expensive, actually. Um, two copper gears, that's not too bad. This is just gold and redstone, that's not too bad. And... This is silver and redstone, that's not too bad. So I need two silver, 
one gold. And then let's make those. Let's just make those now. Two silver. Redstone. Redstone. Two of those. Gold. One of those. Um, and then uh, copper. It's just iron. It's a copper around a piece of iron. Put a gear. Piece of cake. How many gears do we need? We need two. So it's actually not too expensive. Gold is the most expensive part. And what else do we need? A basic machine frame and, a, and another leadstone. Oh, and a leadstone, just a frame. Energy cell frame. Let's make that. That's pretty simple. We made one of those already. So, like this. Good. And then... Like this. Good. And the next thing we're going to do is... Um, energetic infuser, basic machine frame. We need a tin gear and glass, which we have. So we just need some tin. Um, tin. Iron in the middle. Tin. That's a tin gear. And then that's a machine frame. And now I should be able to make the energetic infuser. And just the basic energetic infuser, I guess. Interesting. Um, hmm. That's well, not beautiful, but I'll just put her right here, I guess. Oh wait, you know what? Before I do that. Um. Yeah, I can't think of a better. This is all temporary, so I don't want to get fancy. I'll just slam her down right there. Alright, this is charging up. This actually holds 600,000 RF, so this is gonna kinda suck up a bit of power. That's alright. Should be charging up the axe now. The axe is charging up. The axe holds 100k itself. And, oh good god. We are. We're definitely gonna need wood. Definitely gonna need some wood. Yeah, I really don't have much to throw in there. I got a little charcoal I can throw in there for now. Keep the fire burning. Alright, this is getting there. 100k RF is not that much, so uh, there's upgrades, uh, capacitors we can build that will increase this thing's ability to hold power. Well, I actually have never used one of these, so we'll see you know, we'll see what the drain is on it and how badly I need to charge it up. Alright, so now we got this dark iron axe, it's charged up. I want to go try to use it and see if it works. Now if it doesn't have a charge, it doesn't work. I learned that the hard way. So, you can see this <laughs> This used to be all dirt, um, but things happened. Stuff happened. Alright, so if you sneak and click... Oh, baby. Yeah, see, I was a little afraid of that. Doesn't get it all. But it gets a... I mean, that's pretty damn good. So with these giant trees, it might take a little bit of fiddling, but not as much as if I only had a normal axe. Darn it. Hold on. The cool thing, too, is if I'm not mistaken, I could probably use the axe to just break the... Okay. Arr. Bear with me, guys. Cool. And then we'll just break this. I was going to get clever and jump down and try to just break it all at once, but... Eh. That's not bad. Um, might still be interesting on one of these bigger trees. Um, I'm gonna rest real quick and then we'll give it a try, actually. That door is so cute. Alright, let's try one of these big trees and then I will probably cut and chop wood. So, okay, we have company. Okay, we have... Oh, goodness. 
quite important company. I'd very much love to take the Enderman's Pearl, but he's gone now. I don't know where he went. Alright, let's try this big sucker. Um, yeah. Not so much. <laughs> uh, it's kind of a shame I, I blew one of my two emeralds on this, uh, thinking it would help with this. Doesn't seem to... Oh well, you know. It's still better than nothing, that's for sure. I hear that enderman. So let's see if I, uh... Yeah, it just doesn't really... Eh. Oh, it's because I'm out of power. That would explain why. Alright, well, uh, this axe is pretty interesting. Um, definitely need to upgrade it before it's really going to be convenient. Alright, well, let me try to kill this enderman real fast, actually, and then we will... Next. All right, come here, come here, big boy. Yes, and I got an Enderman head. Sweet. Now this bronze pick does pretty good damage, so I haven't been bothering with making swords and stuff. Uh, eventually, I'll probably make the Ender uh, just to get even more Ender pearls. What's up, piggy? All right, so pretty good. I got an Ender pearl and an Enderman head. Alright, well, we'll see... Oh, let's get this guy. Uh, we'll, uh, catch you when we're up to our next shenanigans. Shenanigans. Well, well, uh... Just wandering around gra grabbing some more Batania flowers. But blah, 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 can't talk. And lucky find... Ooh, two! Just found a bunch of emeralds sticking out of the ground. And you know what? I don't have a pick. Well, that's lovely. Um, I'm gonna make one. Oh, crafting bench. Um, yeah, I thought this would be a quick interlude, this is gonna be, uh, take a second, but, uh, Emerald Man, that's pretty awesome. Free emeralds, hard to complain with that. We'll make a little iron pick up in here, and I hope iron can grab it. One. Oh, look at that, even more. Alright, do I have just regular, yeah, regular seeds. Four. Beautiful. Four emeralds, nice. Alright, uh, real quick, you know, that axe didn't really hold that much RF, so I made some basic capacitors. Uh, I just wanted to actually show, show this process a little bit. It should be pretty short. Uh, I'm making more because I actually have to make double-sided capacitors to, to upgrade. I believe I can double-sided capacitor upgrade as well. So I made two capacitors, I'm going to make two more. Uh, just take some gold nuggets. And then uh, what I need here is coal powder and energetic alloy. Energetic alloy is... Gold, redstone, glowstone. Now I happen to find a little bit of glowstone in the village. I haven't been to the nether yet, but we have six glowstone and I only need two. And two redstone. And two gold. And I should be able to make... Yeah. Two energetic alloy. I think I have coal powder already, but if I don't, it's easy to powder up a piece of coal. Okay, so, coal pallet, you get four from one, wow, that's pretty good, realize that. Alright, this is making, uh, the energetic alloy, there's one done, uh, as soon as this one is done. Yeah, we're struggling to keep on top of our, uh, energy needs. um, we're gonna need to upgrade our energy production pretty soon. Uh, the reason is, though, is it's filling up the buffer on the 600,000 RF on this energetic infuser. So, that's the big problem. It's going a little slower than it would be because of that. Alright, so I got the coal powder, I got the capacitors, so what I'm going to do is go double layer, and then do that. So now I have a single layer and a double layer, and I believe I still have an anvil upstairs, right? Yes, I do. So what I'm going to do is take the dark axe and a basic capacitor, 10 levels, it's gonna hold 50k, 50,000 more RF. It's all right. And this, 15 levels, which is exactly what I have. Perfect. 
Now it's going to hold 250,000 RF. 75% of damage absorbed by power. Plus 2 efficiency when powered. Okay. So, we'll do that. The next one takes an octatic capacitor, which I... and 20 levels. I have neither. But uh, now this axe went from holding 100k RF to 250k RF. It's not bad. I'll throw it back in here. Charge it back up. Pretty good. Alright, I should be able to chop down some more trees with that. So, I just wanted to get this. This is probably what I'm going to use for my woodcutting needs. Um, at least until I get like an axe of the stream. So, I just wanted to take a little time to upgrade that uh, electronically. So, uh, and I figured I might as well show it. Alright, so we're going to keep uh, preparing. I got something in mind. I'm actually going to make one more double layer capacitor as well because I still got the gold. Hold on to gold. Make one more double layer. Put some of this back. I need this and I need it copper. I think it's copper. I have copper. I'm going to make one more double layer just because uh, this thing is too slow and I'm actually, I went out and chopped some wood with the upgraded wood cutter and yeah, power was the issue. I cut a lot of wood really fast. So I think charcoal is going to be less of a problem. I think a bigger problem is going to be um, this thing is only 20 RF per tick. And to speed it up, we need to throw a capad double layer, at least a double layer capacitor in there. So that's what I'm going to do. So if I do. Oh, I need to grab that coal powder as well. So if I go here and go double layer capacitor. Should be able to slam this guy in here, and it'll double the rate of RF generation, but also the rate of coal burning. So now we're at 40 RF per tick. Burn rate is 1.5. And all right, we should be generating power twice as fast, which means hopefully these things will fill up a little faster. And uh, eh, kind of going through the charcoal. It's still pretty slow. I think I'll be able to keep up with it more or less if I. Just throw a lot of wood at it. Oops, I actually want to do that. Anyway, um... Yeah, hopefully that'll help me keep up. I could go all the way to Octatic. That would require Vibrant Alloy. I think that's Ender Pearls. Yeah. I would need two Ender Pearls and four more Glowstone. Which I have the Glowstone. The Ender Pearls. Uh, I actually don't even have the Glowstone I would need. That's alright though. So, I'm gonna basically, now that this is sped up... I'm going to uh, uh, basically spend a little time chopping wood, getting the axe charged after the wood chopping. Um, so using this to get a lot of wood, making charcoal out of the wood, and then using that to par power everything with this faster sterling generator. And eventually I should be able to fill up this monstrosity of a buffer, get everything fill up, and get this power system working nice and clean. Anyway, I am getting a little distracted because uh, tech and power generation and all that stuff was not my goal for this episode. So let's see what we can uh, do to actually move towards that. But this is all important stuff and I wanted to show it to you. So uh, we might end up pushing back uh, what I had in mind until next episode anyway. Uh, I don't mind if this series is a little slower and more meandering than some other ones because I'm having fun. That's all that really matters. All right. Alright, well here's what I think I'm going to go for as far as the building. So it's a nice sturdy stone floor. Uh, we're going to have wood. Uh, foundation. It's going to kind of be like a longhouse. Uh, I found this vertical oak wood that I think looks pretty good and stacks alright. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's going to look cool, I think. So, good enough anyway. And we're going to give it like a nice little roof of carpentry blocks. So, when I don't have a, a builder's wand, uh, I really should go charge my axe before we do this, but uh, oh well. Uh, I'm going to have to start making dark steel anyway, so... Oop. Jump, jump. So the way I usually do this is, however many layers high I'm going to build it, I will use a 
I'll just make a little staircase up. So if I do fall down or I miss it, I can always staircase my way back up. See, that looks pretty good. I like that. And then we'll give it a nice oak roof. We'll get some more oak if we need to. And now it's one, two, three. I want to go four up and then roof. Right? Yeah, I think that's what I thought. I... Oh, son of a... Anyway, uh, let me get this finished and get start putting the roof on, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, but basically, what I'm gonna do, well, while I'm doing this, you can notice that I I've, I've, I've had the chunk boundary on for this. Basically, I just want to make sure this is all within one chunk. And then over there, we're gonna even all that out, and then that's gonna be the docks. So this is sort of a dock house, long house. That's the plan anyway. So this is four up. Uh, this will be the roof. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the roof yet. Alright, let me turn this off. And... Oh, okay. And uh, let me get home. I just want to give you a little peek at what I'm working on. Alright, well I've been working on this for a bit. And let's just peek in on how it's going. Uh, basically, I started it as just kind of like a no frills, simple little longhouse design. Uh, but I wanted a little more space, and, uh, just playing with different layouts. Darn it. Probably have to, yeah. I settled on this. I needed to go, of course, chop a lot more wood, but fortunately that was really easy. With this dark axe, it was well worth the emerald I spent on it. So, uh, basically I'm gonna slap a roof on this. Uh, this is gonna be glass, so this is gonna be to have, like, a nice view. This is the second story. I might build stuff up here. I'm not exactly sure what yet. Um, but mainly it's going to be for the view. Um, so, first story is done. If you come down here, you can see, yeah, I mean, it's going to look alright. Um, this is plenty area. Should be plenty of room on one side for machines and on the other side for storage. So that's my goal, really, with this build, is to uh, have it set up like that. So at this point, all I need to do is stick a roof on it, and let me actually I usually use dirt uh, to build these little scaffolding type things. I think Industrial Craft has scaffolds. Uh, I remember back in the day I used them. I might want to look into some, using something like that. Uh, when I get up here, I still have to figure out how I'm going to do the roof design. I kind of want it to look a little more... I don't want it to just be a slanted roof. I kind of want it to be like a rounded caps roof. So I have to think about how I'm going to do that and what materials I'm going to use. So uh, when we wrap up the house, uh, we'll take a look at it. Or when we're getting closer anyway. Alright, so the building is actually coming along quite nicely. Um, it's mostly done. I just want to do a little extra carpenter's block. So i got a second story that's basically all... Uh, glass just for the view basically um, so let me uh, make some carpenter slopes um, uh, I gotta get up to the roof alright now that I'm up here should be able to oh, okay yeah this is gonna be rough Ugh, are you really going to do this to me like this? Well, this might be a pain in the ass. Hmm. I guess I'm going to have to build some sort of gonna be annoying but I'm gonna have to build some sort of scaffolding uh, just to place these dumb blocks uh, so I guess geez let me 
Really wasn't anticipating having to do that. Let me go get what I need to do that. Alright, so I'll try this again. So I, I just kind of did a real simple getting the dirt up here, and then I think I'm just going to build like a. do something like this. Alright. Great. Then I should be able to. And then after you put the blocks down, then you take your oak. That was a, a whoops. How many times can I do this? So apparently be very... Oh, jeez. Okay. Be very careful when you place these. Could cause... Could cause severe pain if you're not careful. And... Really annoying. Alright, great. And then, so now I should be... Oh, well, can't really walk on that, but that's okay. I don't really need to. Well, except I am going to need to get up there somehow. Um, Alright, the dirt scaffold's probably going to have to continue to get all this in place. Um, but that's okay. Actually, I'm going to have to do it in like a couple spots, really. And then here, 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 here. No. Oh, cool, I got up on, the, I'm on the actual slope. And, I don't know why it's got this weird, okay, what the heck. Prism wedge slope. No, I don't want a prism wedge slope. I want what I had before. So, yeah, I think you can rotate through them. Wedge slope. Just give me the simple one, please. I'm not that fancy. Alright, gotta be careful when you sneak. That's kind of a weird design choice because you're going to be sneaking a lot when you use these, when you place these. I would think. Anyway, we're almost done, so who cares. And now we just got to do this side. Uh, pretty much going to be a similar, um, similar task. I'm going to dirt it up and then we're going to... Oh, what the heck, I'll just... And then when we're done, I gotta clean up all this junk I had to place down just to... Just to get everything where I wanted it, so... I gotta remember to do that as well. Might as well do these both at once. Let's see. Efficiency. Efficiency can be learned. Whoops. And we'll hook it up. So I put torches on the roof for now. I might make it nicer looking later, but for now this is going to be pretty sweet. This is going to be our little longhouse and should serve to be a place where we can put machines and uh, lots of storage, uh, progress through the game a bit not going to be huge and have a lot of room for like, you know, my infusion altar and all that. Oh! <sighs> I thought it was... Nah, anyway. Alright, so we're pretty much done with this little structure. I like it. I think it's going to work for our needs. I think it's uh, a little funky looking, but that's okay. Looks nicer than most stuff I build, which is, you know... <laughs> saying something, because I don't really build a lot of stuff. So this should be plenty of room to get set up. So basically, um, I'm going to have machines and 
storage, and then I'm going to have ladders going upstairs. Uh, from upstairs, we should have... It's basically just going to be a bed and a view at this point. Uh, we're going to make some carpenters' doors and do some other things, but uh, basically our first semi-proper home is done. So, um, as you can see, I built it right by the water so I can extend docks out that way, and then we have a little room over here to build some goodies and gadgets and automation and farms of various types. So, that's pretty much it for this episode. I know that uh, we didn't really get into Batania. Basically, we started a little slow because we had to move. Um, where we started was pretty barren and rough and hard to uh, really get situated in. So I'm hoping this new home will work a little better. Uh, so we've got all this. Uh, all this is going to move. All these are going to move. Uh, so I'll probably start next episode with the move, and then we'll finally move on to some of those other projects that we, uh, I've been wanting to work on. So I'm hoping that these next uh, few episodes are going to be a lot more exciting, you see a lot more activity, uh, but, uh, you know, you have to learn to crawl first. <laughs> you have to build, uh, you have to start at the beginning. So anyway, y'all have a great day. I really appreciate you watching. I want to keep making these uh, for as long as people are interested in watching them. And uh, I'm really enjoying it so far. Uh, it's uh, been quite educational. All right, well, anyway, take it easy. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>